Hey everybody and welcome back to more Mirror's Edge and to pick up our conversation where we last left off which to summarize is basically me explaining why I choose to run ads regardless of the fact that I'm a really small channel. Uh, it, 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 to continue what I was saying, you know, like I totally get like if people use ad blocker and stuff, I understand. I, I hate... I hate ads. Like, I run Adblock, too. I, on YouTube, I have a red subscription. So, I'm glad to know that I don't have to be too inconvenienced. I mean, it's 10 bucks a month, so... Which, you know, not exactly breaking the bank for me. <laughs> uh, oh, please don't hit me. Please, climb. They're coming. Um, but yeah, the, the whole question I had posed was, uh, you know, if somebody told you that you could make, oh, for fuck's sake, I don't even know how I managed to fuck that up that badly. Uh, but if somebody told you, hey, you can make money off of videos, I mean, wouldn't you? It, there's no, like, immorality to running ads, you know, a lot of people be like, uh, sell out, but I'd like to think that if those people you know, saw it as, hey, this is, to some people, a job. And I mean, it's not my job, it's my hobby. But other people have hobbies that make them money all the time, and nobody bats two shit at them. I mean, look at Etsy. The whole fucking website is a commerce created by hobbyists, which, you know, is cool. I, I think that's a really cool thing. You know, people make something unique, and they get money for it, and I don't see anything wrong with that. And I'm not saying anybody watching this video is, you know, part of the problem or, you know, doesn't understand or anything like that. I'm just saying I see a lot of people, like, I mean a lot of people, like, uh, anytime, for instance, like, Boogie, oh, shit. Shit! I just killed them, not about to die to you. Okay. Oh, but like, if Boogie releases a, uh, like a sponsor video, I mean, people go fucking berserk because it, ugh, I sell out, but, you know, that, that's his livelihood. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like he is, uh, How do I just how do I describe this analogy that I'm about to use and probably use it in the wrong way? It's not like he is uh, television where he has you know a 30 minute show uh, with five minutes of content followed by you know eight minutes of commercials. You know it's not like that. And also at the same time, what I've never to this day understood is. Ooh, how the fuck do I do this? I did it wrong. Fuck. Uh, it is, if you're upset that uh, Boogie or your favorite creator is doing a sponsored video, I've never understood why people feel the need to continue watching. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like a sponsored video, then... The, the solution seems pretty clear to not watch it. For instance, if you don't like a, my Mirror's Edge videos, you know, then it, it's just preference, you know? Like, I'm, I'm not trying to be combative or be like, if you think this, then fuck off. You know, I'm, I'm just clearly saying, you know, everyone has a choice to do whatever the fuck they want and to watch whatever they want. And I think that's the beauty of, of YouTube is... If you don't like one person, you can probably find another person who does the same sort of thing that you like. But I mean, I, I understand that for a lot of people. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, I have to continue speaking or I will get so furious at this part. Because I've done this part two times, way too close together. But I do love how the music's super chill. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Um, 
uh, so back to you know I I understand that this is a a livelihood for a lot of people and a lot of people want to take the easy way out you know like doing Kickstarter campaigns where they're like yeah I'm asking for fifteen thousand dollars and which is completely fucking ridiculous and if anyone feels the urge to do that you are just asking for free money because you don't need to do all that to start YouTube you really don't you know a lot of people think you need a sick gaming PC that you know it's state of the art has custom water cooling and all this stuff and you really don't my PC is uh, going on three years old now which in computer age is fucking ancient and uh, yet it suits my needs perfectly fine I can play any game I want at, at ultra and you know just recently upgraded my mic setup because I had saved up and saved up and, you know, worked a little bit of extra hours and found a way to make it work without putting my bank account into the negative because I spent a good amount of money on an audio setup. But at the same time, audio is a huge hobby of mine regardless. You know, I, I probably would have bought this had I not been getting into YouTube because I just... I don't like USB mics. I don't like USB condensers uh, just because there's no physical control that I can do on them, you know, outside of post-processing, which is not physical. But I said all of that. I can't believe I actually made it through there only dying once. I say all of that to say this. Um, if you are upset that your favorite YouTuber is running ads, regardless of their size, because a lot of people justify, oh, the small YouTuber shouldn't even bother, and the big YouTubers don't need it. Um, I would just ask you to kind of consider that these are people who are trying to make something from nothing. If in, in the case of small YouTubers like myself, I am trying to make something from nothing. I would love if this was my career, but I'm, I'm not going to quit my job, you know, before I can be. 100% sure I can take care of myself and my family. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, at the point, I'm just doing this for fun. I'm not doing this to get paid. Uh, but as the opportunities present themselves, if I'm still enjoying this, then I'll I'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, I will do what I can to get paid at something that I love. Because at the moment, my... Oh, God, stop talking. Both me and you. <laughs> Looking good, but it's clear. Um, damn. Get fucked. Alright. <laughs> I just love how you're totally right. A um, little bit of sequence breaking in the dialogue. Yeah, th that's really all I wanted to say. Was I really love doing what I do. Um when it comes to YouTube as a hobby. Like, this is one of my most enjoyed hobbies. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, that I've had in a long time. And if I could turn a hobby into something that can make me money, I'm going to do exactly that. And I don't think that makes me a sellout. I just think that means I would like to have a career that I don't despise because the last, oh God, the last three jobs I've had, um, there was a point in my life where I switched jobs like I switched socks. And uh, one of them was working at Starbucks, which was a fucking nightmare. But I enjoyed the people I worked with and I enjoyed the perks of the job, like the insurance for one, the free coffee for another. Um, after that, I was um, a surveyor. What the? Wow. Where the fuck? I hope you guys are enjoying story time with me. Um, I don't know why I feel so compelled to, to, to share a lot of this, but I mean, I think it's... I think it's interesting. You know, you guys are getting t to learn a little bit about me. Um, 
And if you don't care, let me know in the comments and I'll stop talking about me. But there's really nothing going on that I can commentate over. No, except for, you know, this is about to happen. He's a friend. He'll guide you away from here. I'll lead the blues away. I'll come and find you later, okay? This was one of the shorter missions. Or is this gonna... Yeah, no, this is the ending of this mission. Wow. 11 minutes? Really? Sorry, I'm an asshole. Shit, Mark. Let me get someone, a doctor. Oh, gonna happen to me. I'm sorry, Mark. So sorry. No, no sorries. Just don't let them win. I won't win. Promise. Thanks, kiddo. I can't believe we did this in under 15 minutes with cutscenes included. That's impressive because I always fuck up on that level. Um. All right. I uh, I guess the next time I record this, I'll continue my story of uh, of jobs and what I think about you know careers and all that other stuff. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of insight in the last couple of Mirror's Edge videos, and I hope that. Uh, it's made you see things from a different perspective, uh, if, if nothing else. But uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time when we finish this.